Alright, so sometimes when you're making a game, you get this problem. So your gun's going through the wall. So how do you go about fixing this? Well, today I've got uh, two different ways we can do that. So first of all, uh, this will be for anyone that's like making a first person shooter or anything. So I'm not going to show you how to make all of this. If you do want to see how to make all of this, uh, just tell me because I can make some tutorials on, you know, setting up a first person shooter kind of thing. But let's say you have a first person shooter thing, you have a gun and this is clipping through the wall. So what you can go ahead and do is you can go ahead and get your gun model. Um, you could, in this case, I'm going to copy it um, because I have animations and stuff on here which I want to copy into the other scene. You could just have on the other scene and set up all the animations in that scene. I also want to copy the camera just because I want to have the, the exact place, uh, like the same placement in the other scene that I'm going to be setting up. So we go and make a new scene. We call this overlay, and we paste this in. Now what you see is we have the gun. I didn't select the bottom thing; it doesn't really matter for this example. We have the gun and the camera. So I'm going to just go ahead, and I don't need uh, any of the logic on this camera, so I can go ahead and delete that. Alright, so we've got this all set up. We're we'll going to go ahead and make this uh, shadeless, making sure that it's a material, a second material. And then I want to go shadeless. And we also want to make sure we're in the uh, OpenGL, so GSL, and game. So it's not working, that's because this is invisible. Oh, no, why is this not showing up? Um. Right, so it's showing up now. I'm not quite sure what's happening there. But now you can see it's showing up. It's all working and it's good. So we want to go ahead back to our other scene. And I'm going to make this gun invisible. And I'm going to go ahead and just add an always to the camera. Sorry, not an actuator. Always. And then we want to go ahead and add a scene. Where is it? Scene. Overlay scene. Um can go ahead and plug this in here and just select overlay scene. So now what you see is uh, this is the actual second gun. It's not this one. This one because I said this one's visible, invisible. This is the actual second gun. As you can see I had animation stuff that's why I copied it over. And as you can see we can walk around we can look at something and the gun does not go through the wall. It's always always in front of the wall which is which is really useful. Alright, so uh, the reason I just have this gun on this scene is because it sends rays out and stuff and it's got all my coding and stuff. You could just use it empty here instead and not even need this gun model here. So you wouldn't even need that. You just need an empty which you're adding your bullets and so on. Uh, so the second way you can do it is you can keep your gun in the scene. So you keep the lighting. But you can just go ahead and make it smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and make the cursor go to where my camera is. Or where your camera is if it's your scene. And I'm going to go ahead and add a empty. And I'm going to go ahead and parent this gun to the empty. And I also want to parent this empty to the camera. So it follows it. Alright and the reason I'm parenting this is this has animations. If I was to scale it down then it will kind of when you play the animation it would undo all of that we, we did so what this allows us to do is if I turn off this I don't need that I know why that was on if we do this for our scene so you do this for your scene in your gun uh, you would scale this down uh, if you scale this down now it's going to keep the animations and it's just going to kind of almost make them local to this object it's kind of a bit hard to explain but basically if we just scale this down normally we would play the animation and just undo all the way we did. So if we parent it to this, it's not going to do that. So if we go ahead and scale this down until it is in the box. So I want it to be inside of our player model. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and get it exactly where we want it positioned. And now, you'll see everything's working. Uh, it takes on the lighting. Oh, we want to make sure this is 
uh, not invisible and we also want to make sure that we disable this uh, you won't have that problem if you're just using the second technique but now what you see is we have the actual gun it is affected by lighting and everything works fine uh, as you can see can't go through the wall it looks nice big well there yeah, it's got a problem so I need to bring that a bit more in but not as bad as it was before and as you can see everything works the same this is a little game I made a little while ago but so yeah, there's two different ways you can kind of fix a, the problem with your game if you're getting guns popping through the wall or anything. Um, so if you do want to see how to, if, if if this doesn't really apply to you because you don't even know how to set up all this kind of stuff, I did make like a basic thing on this a while ago. But if you want to see how to make like basics of a first person shooter, so when you shoot at an enemy they lose a bit of health and you can kind of walk around and aim and so on. Um, just tell me and I'll I'll see what I can do so there we go uh, if you want to see more tutorials like this I come out with a new tutorial every single week about a different subject in the blender gaming so you can go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see new tutorials every single week but have a great week keep keep blendering and make something cool